resolve that we shall endeavor to pass on where stately pine trees are still seen across that river so pristine the first hydro sawmill of new world fame developed in the ninth oldest town in Maine developed in the ninth oldest town in Maine
with Native American villages on the bank of the Scottisquar and Salmon Falls rivers. In 1631, barely a decade after the Pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock, Ambrose Gibbons established a settlement at Pompagan Falls and built the first sawmill in North America. That manufacturing heritage has remained strong in three communities known today as the Berwicks, from the textile and ironworks of the 18th century to the cutting edge biotechnology and aerospace industries of today. Industry is only part of Berwick's story. During the Revolutionary War, the town provided two full companies to fight for America's independence, more than many towns of greater size. The courage and character demonstrated by the townspeople in standing for liberty echo throughout Berwick's history. In the years before the Civil War, the many churches in town were powerful voices for the abolition of slavery. During that terrible conflict, more than 200 of Berwick's young men fought and many died so that all might live in freedom. The town's honor roll of current military personnel demonstrates an ongoing commitment to our nation's founding principle. This anniversary is not just about something that is measured in calendar years. It is about human accomplishment. We celebrate the people who, for more than three centuries, have pulled together, cared for another, and built a great community that is a wonderful place to live, work, and raise families. Thanks to those who came before, Berwick has a wonderful history. Thanks to those who are here today, it has a bright future. Congratulations to the town of Berwick, signed Senator Susan Collins. Better than expected weather 
that you've, uh, that you've uh, granted for us today. We thank you for Berwick, the place, and the people. And, and just as your church is not a building but the people, so Berwick is not a place so much as a people. So, Father, we thank you that you love Berwick. And we ask that as, as we go forth today to celebrate the spirit of joy and friendship and love and Christ like us to permeate everything, that the words of our mouths and the thoughts of our minds would be acceptable and praiseworthy in your sight as we go to celebrate the people that you love and the place that you've created. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. That's the end of the opening ceremonies. No, it's not. Oh, we have one more. And after this, the bagpipers have agreed to play for another 10 minutes on the front steps. Um, once these ceremonies are over, if you want to hear them, and then we'll have a bomb shop quartet on stage following that. Okay, I'm not sure if all of you are aware just how much work we need to planning something of this magnitude, but okay, this is the woman, this is the woman who did it all. Okay? Um, She's done Halloween parties, and she's done recreation department. I mean, she's just been out there, people.
Mi'kmaq tribe, there Nova Scotia, St. John Valley.